Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a modification on the Moultrie trail camera. Model number is MFH DGS L50. And the modification I did on this was to the battery itself. Um, getting tired of replacing the batteries on here. I think it takes six C cell batteries or something. Um, it does have a plug in there, an auxiliary power plug, which is kind of something I used when I made this mod. Um, so what I'm doing is just putting a LiPo battery in here instead. And when I did that, I needed to get it underneath the battery compartment itself. And all I did was put on a J, no, I'm sorry, an XT60 plug. And this went right down to where, basically where that auxiliary plug plugged in. <clears throat> um, that depends on what kind of battery you're going to use. Um, I use a I'm using a smaller JST plug. You could have used that too, um, but I wanted to make this universal because I do have other plugs, other batteries with the XT60 plugs. So I just made an adapter for it. I found out that the two cell batteries work better than the three cells, it seems. Um, I don't know why, it just seems like it, I'm not having any issues with the two cells. Even though it's pushing out under 8 volts, it's still better than the 3 cells, which push out a little over 12. Um, even when I discharge the 3 cells down to like below, like about 11.1 volts, it still just didn't seem right. I don't know, maybe it was just the, the time of day or something. I don't know what it was or what I was checking it, but just didn't seem like it was filming properly. Um, so what I also did was took a Dremel tool and Dremeled out these dividers that are that were supposed to hold in the six C cell batteries to give me more room for the lipos because I can fit different size lipos then in there. Like I don't know if this one will fit. No, this one won't fit, but this one will. It's a three cell and having a smaller one that would fit in there perfectly. Um, the amperage, like these are, this one here's a 500, this one here's a 1000 MAH 2 cell. But this is the one I've been going with and it's one working really good for me. It was out there for two weeks. Um, and this here I keep to check the batteries. This is like a dollar item you can find on eBay. Just plug it in and it'll tell you two cells all together 7.4 each cell 33.7 3.7 so it's pushing out like seven and a half volts right now I might charge it up a little bit but it's been out there two weeks like it's still good um, so like I said the the main mod was you just have to take out a couple more screws go in there and you'll see where this auxiliary plug plugs into the with the batteries and I just soldered on these two wires that's all it is that's all it takes make sure you get the positive and negative correct especially on the JST plug the positives always on the flat side I'm sorry the XT60 plug um, JST is pretty easy it's red and black can't mess that up too bad um, so basically that's what I do I'll keep this up in the top compartment I'll leave this in in here when I close up and um, another little item I got is this little on the go on the go uh, USB plug which comes in handy because my SD card is actually a micro SD card you can take this in the field with me 
pop it in there and pop it in the bottom of my phone which picks it up no problem and just take the files right off there in the field and uh, put this thing back in it's a clean card then goes back in and you're good to go so it's a simple mod didn't take very long as long as you got the parts um, make sure you got chargers for these things they're not cheap they're like 50 bucks for the chargers so batteries aren't too cheap either like $15 but it saves you a lot of time and hassle if you have multiple cameras out in the field this is good you know for charging wise anyway you don't have to keep buying batteries um, and I had these spare batteries sitting around for my quads so okay well that's about it any questions just leave them down in the comments and uh, good luck